So festival has a role, no weapons within the venue. So two options here. You can take it secured in your vehicle or we can take you over and refund your money to you. There was a third option not mentioned that day back in the summer of 2019. File a lawsuit, which is exactly what happened when the man who shot that video, Sandpoint resident and concealed carry gun advocate Scott Herndon was denied access to the festival at Sandpoint because, well, he was carrying a gun, which, as you heard, not allowed by the festival organizers. In September of 2019, there was a lawsuit filed against the city of Sandpoint by Bonner County Commissioners and the Bonner County Sheriff, claiming the city and the festival, well, they were violating their rights to carry a gun or anybody who attended that festival. Something Idaho's Constitution allows on public lands. Well, a year later, the judge threw out that lawsuit, saying the county and the sheriff had no standing, meaning they weren't harmed by Mr. Herndon getting turned away. So a second lawsuit was filed in May of last year. A civil lawsuit with Mr. Herndon and the Idaho Second Alliance, Second Amendment Alliance, that is, named as two of the plaintiffs, and the city and the festival as the defendants. Well, yesterday, the first district judge ruled in favor of the city on all six claims. Basically, the Sandpoint Festival can set up any rules they choose since they basically take control of that property by leasing it from the city. The Sandpoint Festival is a two week music festival along the shores of Lake Ponderé, and it brings in tens of thousands of people to the town that only has about 10,000 in it. It's been held at the city's War Memorial Field every summer since 1983. Last year was lost to COVID. This year was almost lost to a lawsuit, and according to the Sandpoint mayor, a frivolous one. Businesses really feel it. They, they consider the festival Sandpoint really the peak season of, of the summer. Uh, that's when we see the most visitors in town. We see the most amount of people out on the sidewalks, shopping, going to restaurants, um, having a good time. You know, local small businesses design their staffing around these events and, and really plan for it. When it's threatened or when it's, um, you know, when that's impacted, then, then really everybody feels it. How big of a deal is this festival for the city of Sandpoint? It's a huge deal. Uh, the festival of Sandpoint is, it's about 40 years running now. It's a cultural icon in Sandpoint, uh, not just in terms of arts and culture, but it's also an economic driver for us. Thousands of people come here for the two week festival every year. Could you put a number on that? Like how much does it bring in? I want to say it was about a $3 million annual impact. Very similar to what they said before was, you guys aren't even involved in this because you leased this property out for this time being and they can make the rules. That's right. I mean, is that as simple as it gets? That's as simple as it gets. That's right. That seems like, and I, I don't want to throw out the word frivolous, but it seems like that would be kind of known. Like that would be one of those things, like if you run out of space, you can kind of tell whomever you can't come in because of X, Y, and Z. I agree. I, I think frivolous is the right word, frankly. These groups are, they're really trying to push their, their agenda. They're trying to get uh, guns uh, liberalized uh, throughout the state and throughout the country for that matter. And so they're, they're just trying to push it wherever they can, wherever they can find, um, you know, some daylight between, you know, legislation or, um, you know, through the courts, they're going to try and uh, try and make some, gain some ground wherever they can. Has this been just kind of a hassle for you guys to have to deal with this not once, but twice? Yeah, yeah, of course. And, you know, not only that, but um, as a result, it has put uh, this year's festival at Sandpoint on hold. We are just now in the process of approving their permit for this year's festival. So, you know, from our perspective, really the, the festival itself was held in limbo over this case. And you have no problem calling this a frivolous lawsuit? Well, I, clearly the, the court uh, demonstrated that. <laughs> This is common practice, right? I mean, we have other events here at the city where we have private entities that lease public parks from us. Um, so this has huge implications for every one of our uh, leased events and certainly for uh, every jurisdiction throughout the state because um, from city to city and county to county, um, this is common practice where public entities lease public property to private entities and then those lease holders, they, they get to do whatever they want with that property. So had this gone the other way, uh, there would have been ripple effects, uh, not just throughout the state, but I, I expect throughout the nation. The Sandpoint Festival featuring REO Speedwagon and Jake Owen is going on as planned July 29th through the August 8th. And they were pretty confident this lawsuit would go their way. So that's why they kind of held it in check. But had it not, 
Organizers tell me they would have just relocated. We tried to get reaction from the Second Amendment Alliance, but they have yet to respond to our emails. You might recall the Second Amendment Alliance was at the center of testing this guns on public lands law here in the Treasure Valley that same summer back in 2019. That's when they were first at first that is denied access to the Canyon County Fair, but then they were allowed in with their guns after explaining how it was a public event held on public property. But the Sandpoint Festival, that wasn't that. By the way, the first lawsuit that was thrown out, the city was awarded more than $71,000 from the county. This one was covered by insurance, so no word on whether the plaintiffs are subject to legal fees. But like Mayor Ronstadt said, if it had gone the other way, it most certainly would have had a ripple effect across the state.